Over 80 million records sold. Three billion at the box office. A fashion icon, the talk of television, and dynamite on the dance floor. For over 20 years, Jennifer Lopez has been at the very top of her game. But her legacy is still unfolding. You're a work in progress till the day you die. And it's just whether or not you're gonna continue progressing. You can decide to stop and go, okay, I'm good right here. Oh, we can do or you can keep going. Go. Now we look at the moments that changed her life. God, I wanna thank you for this beautiful accomplishment, this moment, this time. That was a turning point in my life. I really felt a shift after that. Defined her career. The 2018 Video Vanguard winner, Jennifer Lopez. When I first heard I was getting the Vanguard Award, it might have been one of the best moments of my career. And made her who she is. I want every person to know that they have a limitless ability to do whatever they want to do, and they only need to put their mind to it and believe it. This is Jennifer Lopez, The Ride, part two. Jennifer Lopez has built an empire during her iconic rise to stardom. Throughout her multifaceted career, it seems like she can do it all. I just was on my own ride, and I felt like, yeah, I'm happy that I'm doing this. But her fame and fortune haven't come without challenges. Being under the public lens affected her private life and relationships, which left her questioning her self-confidence. There was so much judgment and pressure and scrutiny and opinions, and it was just a really, really hard thing to deal with. In 2004, following her breakup with actor Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez began dating longtime friend Mark Anthony. Within months, the couple were married in a private ceremony at her home in Los Angeles. And after four years together, Jennifer gave birth to twins, Max and Emmy. That's when things became really clear to me, what love truly is. That pure, that unconditional, that kind, that patient, that simple, that's what love should be. The kids changed my life profoundly and led me kind of, unfortunately, to the breakup of my marriage. In 2011, Jennifer and Mark announced they were ending their marriage after seven years together. I thought we would be together for 50 years and raise these kids together and that would be that. And it didn't turn out that way. And that shattered my world. I had a very, very low point when that happened. When I found myself a single mom with three-year-old twins and figuring out like how I was gonna do this. I'd never imagined it that way. And I had waited a long time to have kids because I wanted it to always be perfect. And it wasn't. And I was like, ugh. And so I had a very low point and then um, <laughs> I got this song called Dance Again. Dance. Written by her friend Enrique Iglesias, Dance Again immediately made a strong impression on Jennifer. It was a song she simply had to sing. I literally begged him. Nobody knows what I'm feeling inside. I said, I want to dance again. I want to live. I want to love. And it just became like my anthem, my mantra for that whole time in my life. Because what I was going through was learning how to pick myself up. and basically dance again. Dance again was a turning point in my life. 
Wait a minute, I gotta connect back to that girl who used to take the train and get on there with her Timberlands and just stomp through the streets and wouldn't take no for an answer and knew she was the best and knew that she was gonna be the biggest thing that ever happened in the whole entire world. That's that mentality that you have when you're growing up and then you have to connect back to it at different times in your life, you realize. A year later, Jennifer danced on stages all over the world as she embarked on her first world tour. And she continued to pick up the pieces after her divorce by tapping into the power of positive thinking through the practice of daily affirmations. Years before, one of my very best friends gave me a book called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. And it's about how your thoughts control your life and how you have control over them. And how if you change the thought, you can change the feeling, you can change the reality. And that stayed with me for very long. And when I got divorced, I reconnected back to those mantras and those affirmations. I deserve to be happy. I deserve love. I am youthful and timeless, open and receptive to all the goodness and abundance of the universe. Me and my children live a happy, joyful life full of laughter, you know, and things like that that I would tell myself over and over to pick myself up for my divorce, to create a new dream for me and my two babies. To this day, I still do it. Jennifer's rebirth brought on a restored confidence, and moving into the next phase of her life, she used her wisdom as a guide into future relationships. Everything I've learned from my past relationship goes into making sure I'm in a healthy, good relationship now. It's about me being okay, emotionally, physically, mentally. You just have to figure out your messy parts and then try to make them a little healthier, get comfortable with actually good, healthy feelings instead of the negative ones. J-Lo has been no stranger to MTV's TRL studios in New York City. Please welcome the lovely, the talented Jennifer Lopez J-Lo. Her appearances have served as an opportunity to come face to face with her fans to chat about her latest projects. First of all, we're gonna talk about the remix. Yes, the remix with me and Ja Rule. Uh -huh. And in August of 2018, she arrived on set once again to help share some big news. We're live in one minute, one minute to live. Check, 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 check. Okay, it sounds great. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna stand by. Seven, six, two, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's up, world? It's your man, Sway Calloway, and I'm here live in Times Square in the TRL studio. Give it up for the 2018 Video Vanguard Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Miss Jennifer Lopez. interesting because 20 years ago, you were nominated for Best New Artist. Yes, and that's you, right. Yeah, right? And now you got the Video <laughs> Vanguard yeah. Award. Yeah. I feel a little emotional because I see, you, you mentioned 20 years ago, yeah. and I see like the same fans in the front row. It makes so happy. This is real connection that you made with people who have been a part of your career, and you've been a part of their lives. So Life, this yeah. is family and right here. And they're a part of mine. OK. We got some questions from the audience right now. What advice would you give young, aspiring women who are looking to be as successful as you are? I think in any career, you just have to really work harder than everybody else. Honestly, that's, that's been kind of the secret sauce for me. I just don't let up. I don't let up, I just keep, keep going and keep trying harder and keep trying to evolve and grow. And my advice to anybody who's young and starting out and going like, well, how do I get there? How do I do this? Find what you love first and then work harder than anybody else. This is great. <laughs> I like that. Put your hands up! Let's get it! 
On August 20th, 2018, Jennifer Lopez was honored with MTV's Video Vanguard Award at the VMAs in New York City. And her lifetime of achievement in music video was highlighted by an unforgettable performance that spanned her entire career. I definitely put people through a lot when we do stage performances because I am ambitious with what I want to accomplish on stage. And I just knew I wanted it to be me. I wanted it to be a reflection of all the videos and all the moments over the years that I had done with MTV. And I wanted it to be true to that, to remind people just these are the songs I did, these are the videos we did, this is why we're here tonight. Just a reflection of my life and my music. Please give it up for the newest member of the Video Vanguard Award, Jennifer Lopez. The Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award has recognized trailblazers in music video for over 30 years. And on this night, J-Lo became the first Latin artist to receive the honor. When I first heard I was getting the Vanguard Award, it might have been one of the best moments of my career. It meant everything to me. It's also nice to get the gold moon in. Not everybody has that one. We all have a lot of silver ones, but the gold one, I was like, oh, it's gold. <laughs> it's nice. I really felt a shift after that, an appreciation for like, wow, she's been around a long time and she's given us a lot of moments. And I felt that from the fans. I felt that from people in the industry. It was a nice moment. You know, I grew up on MTV. <sighs> yes. And this is really like a tremendous honor for me. It has been an incredible journey of dreaming my wildest dreams and then kind of watching them come true. You have touched my heart and my soul and become a part of me. And you guys have won me over forever. Thank you. I love you. It was a nice moment for me, for my manager, Benny, for our team. We worked hard. We've been doing this since my first album 20-some years ago, and it's nice to be recognized for somebody to say, hey, you've done really well. I want everybody to stay with me. Coming up, J-Lo sizzles in Sin City. Thank you for this beautiful accomplishment, this moment, this time. It's not an easy road that we have chosen. So a lot of hard work. Tonight we celebrate everything we've accomplished and everything we've done. Thank you, God. Amen. After a triumphant performance at the VMAs in August of 2018, there was no rest for J-Lo. Just one month later, her residency at the Zappos Theater in Planet Hollywood, Las Vegas was making its final run. To have the Vanguard performance come right before the end of it, and kind of like, you did all this, congratulations, and now you're gonna go wrap up your show. After 123 performances spanning two years, J-Lo's All I Have show broke ticket sales records on the strip, grossing over $100 million. And on September 29th, 2018, Jennifer's final performance was a very emotional night. God, I wanna say, I know that you walk every single step with me every day, that you carry me when I'm weak and we thank you for this beautiful accomplishment, this moment, this time. It's not an easy road that we have chosen. It's so hard work. Jennifer Lopez sings and dances her heart out and wants you to sing, to live, to love, to dance. They're yelling for us out there. You hear that? There is no star that shines as bright as Jennifer Lopez Tonight we celebrate everything we've accomplished and everything we've done. Thank you, God. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Get ready. Get happy. The final show 
Jennifer Lopez. Oh, I have. You had me and I could not defend it. I tried, but I had to surrender. Your style got me under the spell. I left me no other choice but to get down. It's too late. It's too late. You know, all I have, when we did that last show in Vegas, it was the culmination of three years, and I had accomplished what I set out to do, and it felt really good, and it felt like it was time to take a break. But it was sad, because when you walk away from something like that, you realize, like, oh, that was a moment in time. And so we all knew how special it was. Until next time! And now we're gonna start something new. Now it's a new chapter where you really have the credibility and you have the experience, and now what are you gonna do? With Jennifer's All I Had residency wrapped up, she plans to take her show on the road with a headlining tour of arenas and stadiums in 2019. Not stopping there, she'll star in two feature films and return to her very own hit TV show, World of Dance. For JLo, the sky is the limit. It's exciting, it's daunting, it's scary. It's all the good stuff that makes for good creative things to happen. In October of 2018, Jennifer Lopez released a stunning ballad of survival and belief. I couldn't fight anymore. Limitless is a life-affirming declaration of boundless possibility that reflects Jennifer's personal journey. I'm at a point in my life where I'm limitless. I know that 100% to be true. And that song had to be sung. No, 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 for Jennifer, the empowering and timely anthem is meant as an inspiration for women everywhere, including her daughter, Emmy. every woman and every person to know that they have a limitless ability to do whatever they want to do and they only need to put their mind to it and believe it. And it's such an exciting time for me and for my daughter to know that she's not gonna struggle with the same low self-worth like me because of what other people say. that it actually comes from inside of her and teaching that from a very young age, which I don't think ever happened before this time. For over 20 years, Jennifer Lopez has been an entertainment megaforce. And as she moves into the next chapter of her career, there's no signs of slowing down. I think for me, the second act is gonna be just an elevation of everything that we've done up until this point. It's gonna be more movies, producing more movies, maybe directing movies, doing more music, doing more videos, and just being very selective with the quality of what we do. You know what I mean? That could be more swagged out, you know what I mean? People go, oh, she's doing so much, she's doing this, she's doing that, she's everywhere, it's like, I don't know, I just have the same 24 hours everybody else has. I just love what I do. When I hear a great song and I want to do it, I do it. And I fit the time in and I still get home to be with my kids, you know what I mean? So I've learned to juggle and balance in a better way. And I've learned to say no to more things and to do things that really matter. JLo's ride to stardom has had a chair of ups and downs. Her evolution from a Bronx girl with big dreams to an international superstar is a testament to the wisdom and strength gained with each new experience. 
She celebrated her greatest highs, but has learned the most from her lows. My head's killing me. I'm losing sleep, and I'm waking up tired of it all. All of the low points and the failures and the downs, like they say, are the things that help you get to now, where you feel like, I got this. I understand me. I know I'm messy sometimes, and I know I'm awesome sometimes. And I know that I fall short there, but you know what, I'm really good here. Like, you just start understanding yourself. But without making the mistake, without trying and falling flat on your face, you're not ever gonna know that. You're not gonna know, like, oh, I'm gonna fall flat on my face if I do that again. Not going over there. It's not a thing that you get to either. It's a thing that's constantly evolving. You're a work in progress till the day you die. And it's just whether or not you're gonna continue progressing. You can decide to stop. Go, okay, I'm good right here. Or you can keep going, keep evolving, keep getting better, keep challenging yourself. And that's, that's how I like to think.